In the Eastern Cape, around 300 residents could soon be homeless pending plans to have them evicted from newly built RDP houses near King Williamstown. An investigation is underway to look into the illegal occupation of the houses in Pagamisa, allegedly by, among others, public servants. 950 houses were built, but many were never handed over to their rightful owners. 89-year-old Ndosilele Baile has lost all hope of getting a house of her own. She says she has been on the housing list for years now. Baile says she was told that three people were allocated to the house she was told was hers. And now she has illegally occupied this one. I always go to vote, but now that there are houses being handed over, I have been forgotten. And this is painful. The ward councillor is accused of being at the centre of the illegal occupations. I was personally asked by the councillor to allow people who were born in Pagamisa to occupy the houses. I've never received any job from the municipality. I have two kids. Where am I supposed to go? That's why I have illegally occupied a house here. The ward councillor Mteteleli Kolela initially agreed to an interview with the SABC, but then did not respond to follow-up telephone calls. The Buffalo City Metro Municipality says the conduct and involvement of the ward councillor in question will be investigated. There are advanced processes in place. We cannot um, divulge the time frames, but we can assure those beneficiaries who are in agony that something is going to be done by the province as well as the municipality. And it's a matter of time that we act and we act decisively in that issue. The Eastern Cape struggles with a housing backlog of more than 400,000 units. Busisi Wechem Sana Mantashe, SABC News, Pakamisa, near King Williamstown.